No government cuts, but no council cuts either. Resist the cuts. So if everybody can turn up on Tuesday the 22nd, 2 p.m. until the evening, if you come here at 1 o'clock to demonstrate against uh, the cuts, we'd love to see you. And we'd urge people to come after work at 5 p.m. as well. The action that the councils are taking in Bristol and their surrounding areas as a result of the cuts are going to see thousands of workers lose their jobs. Not only in local authorities, but in the voluntary sector. So the actions of the NUS and the school students have been incredibly invigorating for this campaign. And we applaud them and we hope that they will continue and join us on the 26th. Well, 30 of us from the academy walked out of lessons at 11 o'clock. And dozens of others followed after they got mobile phone message. And we marched down Stapleton Road, stormed through Cabot Circus, and then joined the main demo on, uh, here on College Green. And I think everyone who went that day would agree the demonstration was absolutely fantastic with the only sort of dampener on the day being heavy-handed policing. Unite is supporting young people that have demonstrated and will continue to demonstrate against the increase in student fees. On the following Tuesday, exactly the same thing happened again of an even bigger walkout at my school and um, an even bigger demo here on College Green. And even better, on that day, we managed to break, I think, every single police kettling attempt but they tried. Yeah. And uh, I don't want my benefits to get cut for anything because I'm, I'm disabled when I'm, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to be uh, struggling to pay bills and things like that. Let's face it, we've had to fight for every reform we've got and we're going to have to fight to defend every reform we've got. Yeah. We are particularly concerned that the government is ignoring where the problem is with the people who have got the money and they're taking it out on lots of us who have nothing. But when you have a situation when the top directors of firstly the hundred top directors have a pay rise of 55%, there is no way that we're all in this together. What we are seeing is the dismantling, the destruction and the ultimate privatisation of the NHS. Now, the Tories say multiculturalism hasn't worked, but on those demos we have people from Eastern Barton Hill, black and white, refugees and asylum seekers, Muslims, Sikhs, Somalians, Romans, people from all over the world. And I'm proud of that unity, and we must never let the Tories wreck it. <laughs> GP acute hospital, every GP organisation will become either a social enterprise or it will become a foundation trust. And they are nothing more than one stepping stone towards a private company. We expect Labour Party to stand up to these guys and if they don't, we condemn them. I, finally, I think the demo on the, uh, on the 26th of March, the chance to show our strength. It's a chance to start to build our movement, to start to build our moment in every town, every village, every city, build towards a one-day public sector strike. And it should be a movement not to justify cuts. It should be a movement to create a better society, one based on social justice and equality, a social society. Thank you.